So today's video is going to be a little get ready with me. I think this would be called like a chit chat to get ready with me. I have all my makeup here and I'm actually getting ready right now to go take some pictures for our store. I will link it down below. We have a ton of new stuff going up. First things first, primer. I remember when primer like wasn't a thing back in the day. Today I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Clinique is actually sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much Clinique for sponsoring today's video. So this foundation, I am new to using it, but I really like it because it's supposed to be full coverage, but it's also like very lightweight. It has kind of like a natural matte finish and it's supposed to last 12 hours. And this is also a two-in-one like foundation and concealer. So it's kind of nice. It has like the doe foot applicator so you can figure out like how much you want to put on. I'll probably start by putting like a little bit on the these pimples so yeah the doe foot applicator is really nice for that because you can kind of like spot conceal a little bit and then as usual i'm just using my beauty blender next i'm doing my whole face and this foundation is really nice because it doesn't dry too quickly so you can like take your time blending it out and i think it also goes on a little bit darker when you first put it on but then once you blend it out and it dries it like melts into your skin for the perfect color so i'm just blending all this out if you guys go to your local Clinique counter, they'll shade match you and they'll also give you a seven day supply of foundation for free. So you can kind of test it out and see if it's your color. I think they have 20 different shades and it sells for $27. The coverage is so nice. Like you literally, well, my camera screen's kind of dirty, <laughs> but look you can't even see this mirror is like even dirtier look at that i'll also have their link down below if you guys want to check out clinique it is in the description okay next i like to use a separate concealer for under my eyes just because i like to brighten them a little bit more and i feel like i always have under eye circles like they're not that noticeable but at the same time they are blending this in again with my beauty blender this is usually the powder that I take with me when I travel. I really need a new translucent powder because this one is almost gone. Once that is done, I'm going to do some bronzer. I really need new makeup brushes. I used to have so many and then I think when I moved, like somehow I got rid of a bunch of them. But I don't know why. But now like this is not usually a brush I would use for bronzer. But it's like all that I have. This is supposed to also be like a life update video. But I remembered how hard it is to like show what you're doing and talk about it and talk about other things so yeah this is my blush pretty much use this one every day it's by tarte it's the exposed shade i also have this little tiny baby highlighter because this is my travel makeup bag oh that's probably not in the right spot also, I didn't put this on today, but this is the stuff that I use to make my eyelashes grow. They're not super long right now because I haven't been using it because when I was traveling, I just like literally didn't wear makeup most of the time because I was in Hawaii. It's hot there, so I just didn't put on makeup, but Babe Lash is so awesome if you want your eyelashes to grow. Best stuff ever. I'll link it down below. Best thing ever. Next, I will do my eyebrows. Where's my thing I've been using for my eyebrows? What the heck? Oh, I'm using my precisely my brow pencil. I'm really really not good at eyebrows at all I always try to learn but I seriously feel like it's easier to do your eyebrows The less eyebrows that you have because I have like really good natural eyebrows like I do fill them in but Like you know how some people just like kind of don't have eyebrows I do have eyebrows But I feel like it's actually worse to have eyebrows because then you can't fill them in exactly how you want exactly the shape You want you guys can see there's kind of like a dent right here Pretty sure I did that with my scissors. Don't know. This mirror is so dirty though. I can't even use it. I try to draw the line underneath and then my eyebrows are just like too big. It like doesn't, I don't know. But then I'm using this brow gel. This is my favorite one from Benefit. I really wanted to film this video with my Canon 80D. I'm just filming it on the vlog camera. But I don't know if I have a lens that like doesn't make noise when it auto focuses. So if any of you guys know any lenses... Like, you know how when you're watching a YouTube video and you can hear the little, like, you can hear the lens focusing? I hate that. So I didn't want to film with that camera because I think all we have are lenses that, like, make that noise. So if anybody knows one that doesn't, you should comment it down below. So now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I normally don't wear eyeshadow. On a regular day that I wear makeup, I'll just put on mascara. But since we're doing pictures today, I am going to do eyeshadow. So this is one of my favorite palettes. It's the Tarte. Tartlet in Bloom palette. It has a lot of neutrals and they're kind of like pinky toned, which I like. So I'm using Smarty Pants, which is a matte brown. I guess I'll come closer. I'm really not very good at eyeshadow at all. I'm just doing something like really, really simple. <sighs> what else should I do? I think I'm just gonna do like this color on the lid. Like, I don't know. I'm just using this. Respond to my text. 
Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I've been getting my eyelashes permed since I don't have my eyelash extensions anymore. Seriously the best thing ever, but I haven't had it done for like, well, let me see. Can you guys see? That's not curled. I got this done like over a month ago, probably like a month and a half, two months ago, and they still look pretty good. I'm probably gonna get them redone soon. Next is my mascara, and this is the Pixie Lower Lash Mascara. I love using this on my top eyelashes because the brush is like so tiny because I like to separate. Oh, I didn't do eyeliner. Dang it. I guess I'll do that after. This separates my eyelashes so nicely though. This is what they look like. Um, I also like to put this on them sometimes. Next is eyeliner that I forgot to do. Normally I would do this before mascara. This is my favorite eyeliner in the entire world though. It's double-sided. Oh wait, this one's my new one. Where's my old one? this it's double-sided so it has the pencil and it also has the liquid on the other side which is just so convenient so i'm gonna tight line my eyes and i'm also gonna do down here i don't normally do down there i feel like it's too harsh when i do it down there also for lips these are my two favorites this is the nyx butter gloss in angel food cake this is the tarte glossy lip paint in goals i don't know i guess i'll do this one whoa no i'm gonna do this one my favorite color Next, I'm gonna try and do my winged eyeliner. I'm always really bad at this. My favorite way to do this is I put the eyeliner like right here, like along my nose, and then I put the outer part on my eye. But I basically just do this and then like kind of push down and go like that and that creates the wing. This one I did a little too far in. So you just go like this. And then it pretty much like creates the wing and then I just go in and if I need to fix it at all, I do. Next, I use this setting spray. This is the Pixie Glow Mist. I like this one because it's like glowy, got a glowy finish. Spray my whole face with that. And then that is all for my makeup. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair. Is there a plug over here? I swear I just got my hair done and look how bad my roots are. My hair is actually still a little bit wet. So I'm gonna go blow dry it. And there's not a plug. Oh wait, yeah, there is. This was my tripod for that shot. <laughs> okay, where's my comb? So I'm gonna part it down. No, actually, I think I'm gonna part it slightly to the side. Oh, where's my, oh, okay. So what I like to use for my hair is dry shampoo and this beach spray. So even though I just, just barely washed my hair, I like to put this in for like texture. So I put it up in my roots and then I kind of spray it all throughout. So I also put this in and this is a Not Your Mother's Beach Babe texturizing spray. It's like a little travel one, but what the heck? That's so salty. Some of that just got in my mouth. I have been curling my hair differently lately since I cut it. So I have this curling iron. I'm pretty sure this is one and a half inch. Might be one and a fourth. I start off by sectioning my hair. I'll kind of show you guys what I do and then, yeah, I don't know. So for the bottom pieces, I like to curl them with this, but I leave the ends out. That's what kind of gives it the more like natural looking curls. So I just have these little curls on the bottom. And then on the top, I actually like wrap it around the curling iron. I don't know where my phone went, but today is actually the 22nd. Pretty sure you guys are seeing this on the 30th, but I'm just filming this a little bit early. I don't know. We've just been really trying to focus on learning how to make our content better, but then it's kind of hard to do that at the same time as like when you're still making content, if that makes sense. I feel like I just wanna take like a month of making nothing to just sit and like research and practice and do stuff. Okay, that camera just died. I switched to the other one. This is the older version of the camera. Tell me if you guys can see a difference in the quality. So yeah, for these top pieces, I'm gonna end up recurling them, but just for fun. I always curl them this way too, but as you can see, I just leave out the little end piece and I don't go all the way to the top. On the other side, I do the same thing. And when I'm not like talking to the camera and like showing what I'm doing, this is seriously so quick. This takes me like three minutes to do like my whole head. But anyways, I think before the camera died, I was talking about we've just been really trying to like improve our skills and stuff. We also want to kind of change up the vlogs, but I don't know what to do. I don't want it to be like anytime anybody does anything, people just say they're copying Casey Neistat and like I don't want my vlogs to be like somebody else's vlogs we're kind of trying to just figure out what we want to do how we want to do them i think we're going to do vlogmas it's always so much fun to look back on i've done it for the past like couple of years should we do every day i don't like to do every day people always say 
Should we do Vlogmas? Should we have this chat right now? I'm down to do Vlogmas. Should we do every day though? Or should we do like five days a week? Or should we do like a one take on Sunday and a Q&A every Saturday? Like what should we do? I think we should do seven days, but maybe Saturday and Sunday will just be like one take type of thing. Sunday will be a one take. Saturday will be like a q and A. I don't think we have any trips planned in December. I think I'm gonna go see my mom one time. We should be able to keep up with it. The only time that daily vlogging, well, daily vlogging is hard all the time but the time when it's the most hard is when we're traveling. As I always claim, I'm not making any promises. We're gonna try our hardest and I'm pretty sure we'll do it, but if we miss a day, I'm not gonna feel bad because I'm a human and uploading that many videos is really hard. Right, babe? Will you bring me my hairspray? Right. Woo! I'm gonna spray this. I actually don't like to leave it like this. These pieces are like too straight for me. So I just take the top pieces and this is when I Curl them around. Still leaving the end out because that's what I think looks best. I don't like to wrap the end all the way around. See, now it's starting to look a little bit cuter. This is kind of how I like it more. Then it looks pretty cute. And I'll usually, where'd my comb go now? I lost it again. Oh, there it is. Comment down below if you guys want to see us do any like challenges or anything. I feel like 25 vlogs in Vlogmas. Like I don't want to just do vlogs. I want to do like other stuff too. Like fun challenges or like a Q&A every once in a while. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. Just really casual like me getting ready. So this is what it looks like in the end. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys in the next vlog, which I think will be tomorrow because I'm pretty sure there's only 30 days in November. So we'll see you guys tomorrow kicking off Vlogmas. Bye guys.